ChatGPT4 image upload is finally here and in this video. We're going to show you everything you need to know about how to use this amazing new feature. But before we get started, let's talk about the problem that ChatGPT4 image upload solves. In the past, ChatGPT4 was only able to process text. This meant that if you wanted to use ChatGPT4 to generate text about an image, you first had to describe the image in text format. This could be a time-consuming and error-prone process. But now, with ChatGPT4 Core Image Upload, you can simply upload an image and ChatGPT4 will automatically process it and generate text about it. In this video, we're going to show you how to upload images to ChatGPT4. And we're also going to discuss some of the different ways that you can use ChatGPT4 Image Upload to generate creative and informative text. Here's what you're going to learn in this video. How to upload images to ChatGPT4 how to generate text about images using ChatGPT4, how to use ChatGPT4 image upload for different creative and informative tasks. By the end of this video, you'll be able to upload images to ChatGPT4 with ease, generate text about images accurately and creatively, use ChatGPT4 image, upload for a variety of different tasks. Let's get started. To use this feature, you must first have GPT-4 but don't worry, I already have it, so we can get started right away. To use this feature, you don't have to do anything special if you have GPT-4. When you're chatting with GPT-4, you'll notice an attach image button next to where you type your messages. This new feature lets you talk about pictures, which is really cool. Let me explain with an example. One of the simplest things we can do is talk about a photo of a broken lead for an example. So I'll upload a picture of a broken lead for an example and we can discuss it using this chat feature. I understand your request to describe how ChatGPT can provide information and suggestions based on an image. Here's a rephrased version of your explanation. Suppose I input a query like what's wrong with my lead and how can I fix it, and then press enter. The AI begins processing the image and generates context based on the image content. In this case, it accurately observes that the LED screen appears severely cracked or damaged. Additionally, it provides valuable suggestions on how to address the issue. For replacement, it recommends sourcing a new screen online, emphasizing the importance of selecting the correct model for the device. Moreover, it offers advice on potential repair options and safety precautions. Furthermore, it suggests checking the device's warranty status and acknowledges the budgetary considerations involved. Overall, it provides comprehensive and practical suggestions. Now, let's try another example of an image to see how ChatGPT can assist us. I'm going to explain an interesting feature here. Imagine we have an image of a chart, and we want a detailed summary of it. We upload the image, and then we ask for an in-depth summary of the chart, making sure not to miss any details. Once we press Enter, the system begins to analyze the image, extracting information directly from the chart. It's quite incredible because it provides accurate information based on what's presented in the chart. However, it's important to note that the system may not always be 100 accurate. For example, in the chart we used, most of the information was correct, but there were a couple of small errors. The Department of Education was actually 6 HE, and all other was 13% in the chart, but the system didn't get these figures right. Despite this, it did manage to accurately summarize about 95% of the content, which is still quite impressive. Now, having seen how this works, let's try another example. This time, we'll choose something more challenging to see how the system handles complex or difficult information. Let's say I'll try to give a picture to chat GPT and ask him about their model. Let's see what they respond. So if we upload an image of a car and ask chat GPT to identify the car model, it will start analyzing the image. To do this, we first upload the car image, and then we type the question, can you tell what car model is that? After hitting enter, we wait to see what ChatGPT tells us. It begins by generating or analyzing the image we provided. I have uploaded an image of a 2013 Tesla Model S. The image recognition correctly identified it as a Tesla Model S, which is impressive. Now, let's try another example with an older car that it might not be able to detect. Please go ahead and upload it. I'd like to upload a picture of a 1928 Falcon Knight Roadster car and ask ChatGP to identify its model. Please allow me to upload the picture, and then I will type what model is it. Sometimes, ChatGPT may provide incorrect answers for cars from the 1920-1930 era, so it's important to verify its accuracy later, as it can be inconsistent in its responses. Now, let's say I want to upload an image. 
In this image, I'll ask ChatGPT to extract text from it. Let's try it out practically and see what happens. You can upload the image here and then type, Hey ChatGPT, can you extract the text from this image for me? And press enter. As you can see, it performs quite well in extracting text from images. It may not be perfect in every case, but for now, let's move on to another example and use it out. So far, we've been exploring various images and using them with ChatGPT. Now, let's try something different. We can upload an AI-generated image of OWL to ChatGPT and ask it question about the image. I already have an AI-generated image ready to upload. I'll do that first, and then I'll type a question about what the image depicts. After pressing in tear, we'll see how ChatGPT interprets the image. Once it processes the image, we can read its description. For instance, it might describe the image as showing a fascinating creature that appears to be a mix of an owl and a fluffy mammal. If it provides a good analysis, we can move on to the next image. I have an image of Elon Musk, and I'm going to upload it here. Then I'll ask ChatGPT, who is this? Here's what I did. I clicked on the image icon, selected the image, and typed, can you tell me who is this? After hitting enter, it started processing the image, but I got the response. Sorry, I cannot help with that. I even tried again, but the response was still the same. It's strange how ChatGPT couldn't recognize the image. By the way, if you haven't already, please consider giving the video a thumbs up to show your support and motivation. Since this method didn't work, let's move on to the next example. I'd like to use if ChatGPT can recognize a famous celebrity, such as Donald Trump, by uploading their picture. I'll ask, can you tell who is this? Please do not say no. However, it seems that ChatGPT may not have the capability to recognize faces or lack sufficient data for this. Let's move on to the next question. Before we proceed, have you subscribed yet? Please consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button. Now, we're ready to upload the next picture. Let's upload an AI-generated picture of a monster with horns that I've already downloaded from AI platforms. After uploading it, I'll type can you explain this image in detail, and press enter. As you can see, it starts processing, so we'll wait for a moment. It seems to have provided a comprehensive explanation of the image, mentioning that there are wolf-like animals surrounding both the person and the large creature. This indicates that it has thoroughly analyzed the image for us. Now, let's try another example. We've covered a lot of topics so far, but don't go anywhere because the real excitement is just beginning. Imagine this, you visit a place but forget its name or details. For example, let's say I upload a picture of Petra and ask GPT for information or historical context about it. I press enter and GP starts generating a response. We'll see if it gets it right or not. It's like magic. I upload the picture and ask, can you provide information or historical context about this place? Then I wait a bit and it generates information. It correctly identifies the place in the image, which is impressive. Now. Let's try another example. Let's imagine that we can upload an image related to the show, the Big Bang Theories, into this chat. First, I'll upload the image and then we'll ask GPT to explain it. I'll type in explain this image in detail with text and visuals without skipping anything from it's and press enter. Now, process the image and generate context. After that, we'll review the generated explanation. It's important to note that GPT might have difficulty with blurry images, but we'll focus on the accuracy of the text. Once we're done with that, we'll attempt to upload a more complex image to use GP's capabilities. Let's give it a try. Here is the data we have. For example, we can use it anywhere. Let's say we told chat GPT, hey, can you make this information more concise and specific? After that, when I press enter, you can see it has made the information more specific. This means you can obtain the information and then make adjustments as needed. If there are any mistakes, you can correct them, saving time. It's a great feature. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss or do with the image, or are we ready to proceed with another image upload? Yes, let's proceed. Here, we can upload an illustration and ask ChatGPT about it. I believe illustrations are easier to understand, so let's use them in our questions. You can use your own images for research purposes, but I've downloaded one from FreePick for this example. Now, I'll press Enter to start processing the image. After processing, ChatGPT generated a full explanation of the image. First, it mentioned that the image is an illustration of a person sitting in a yoga-style position with a laptop. This is impressive. ChatGPT also correctly noted that the person appears calm. Additionally, it highlighted various elements around the person, such as a light bulb gears, a planet with stars, 
not rings, an open book, a paintbrush, a palette, and a cup with steam. In the bottom left corner, there's a plant. Overall, ChatGPT did a good job, and it's quite impressive. Let's recap all of it first. We learned how ChatGP can analyze images and provide information and suggestions based on what it sees. We tried it with various images, like a broken lead screen, a chart, a Tesla Model S, and even an old 1928 Falcon Knight Roadster. It did a pretty good job, although it wasn't always 100% accurate. We also used it with text extraction from images, where ChatGPT did well, although not perfectly. Plus, we tried asking about an AI-generated image and historical context of places like Petra. It got most things right. However, it struggled with recognizing famous faces like Elon Musk or Donald Trump, but that's okay. We also explored how ChatGPT can help make information more concise and specific, which is super hand. That's it for today's tutorial on ChatGP4 image upload. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. You did. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and tips on ChatGPT4 and other AI tools. I'm also always looking for new topics to cover, so if you have any requests or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so you're the first to know when I upload new videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.